everyone. I hope you like the picture on my stream because I'm not a lot really a, a big fan of her but yet I want to point out that you, sh you should understand that AOC have nothing to do with socialism whatsoever. <clears throat> uh, just give me a moment. I need to put translation links everywhere and therefore once again I'm with you so let's talk about other uh, socialism stuff that you believe in because apparently American citizens and in general European citizens do not understand uh, the causes of socialistic movement in uh, Russia and over the world after. Um, there is, I don't know what to start, but let's let's start from the millions of star starving people. And for example, I want to give you a couple one one fact. It's a fact. You can check it. Um, before the revolution in uh, in the country uh, of Russia, there happens situation where the government could not anymore understand the needs of village population and the farmers in general, and it led to reforms that first it they was pointed to free the slaves literally I don't know how to say uh, how to call <coughs> in English our village population uh, before before the 1961 but uh, actually they was were slaves so uh, you see there was a reform that lead to first uh, freedom uh, it's like free the slaves but on such a hard conditions that people simply could not um, keep keep uh, keep up with that and uh, there was protests there was um, demands from the government to change something there was um, many other uh, forms of protest during the period uh, until the 1900 and during the period of 1900 there was uh, another reform that led to a hunger that um, affected 44 million people all over the Russia in uh, it, it wasn't Bolsheviks apparently there there was no Bolsheviks there was no socialist it was reforms made by Tsar regime by Tsar government uh, etc etc it means that there was literally bread lines there was bread lines apparently uh, reforms, those reforms that lead to it, uh, after was overcome with high prices to bread that was ex exported in other countries. Yet it doesn't change the conditions that Russian uh, population, the civic population, common citizens of Russia lived during that period. Uh, they literally was starving. Not only starving, they have no land, they have no uh, clothing, even though they have jobs which they was which they work on for uh, 10, 11, 12 hours straight 
and it wasn't like today's office jobs it was uh, manufacturing jobs it was farming jobs agricultural in general it was fucking hard jobs were you tired and yet when you get the salary you could not keep up you could not afford uh, the food on your table people literally starve and they can, could not change anything for that moment and because of reforms that was made and led to a hunger that affected 44 million people all over the Russia which for some reason American propaganda didn't mention when they talk about uh, hungers that socialists created why? why they don't mention the reasons behind uh, socialistic movement in the first place why they don't mention why people in the first place was interested in uh, civic movements like socialistic movement or liberal movement for that matter for the for that moment it was still liberal in a good sense of word why no one mentioned that it it is um, there was reasons why such uh, revolution happened so no one mentioned this hunger and these reforms that led to it hunger to this hunger and during the period where the hunger happens the civic population like 85 percent of the people who lived in the villages on land in the country as you say in america uh, people the most population lived still still live in the country still live on the land work on the land and uh, um, farming in general let's say farming for that matter 85 percent of population and there was like 400 demands not to make um, not to give uh, the land not not to give the land for these people who work on this land not to give it to them right because in conditions that there was in Russia during that period they uh, buy out the land that was provided to them but on such a conditions that they simply could not keep up and starving and this period was during the 77 previous year or 76 previous year during before the, the socialistic revolution even though it wasn't socialistic in the first place so people could not keep up and they demanded to give the land to the people who work on the land let us own it it was the first demand uh, in the first it was demand that was put in place when the uh, freedom on such conditions for the slaves didn't work first demand was give us the land that we live on that we work on that we could so we could keep up but next during the period where there was next reform and where people uh, begin to starve in millions suddenly people give up this uh, wish to own the land instead uh, common people uh, people who work on land live on land who you know a farming population pretty much of our country of Russia they demanded that no one owns the land that land should be uh, owned by let's for that matter for the by the government for example they demanded that no one own the land because in any case in any shape or form you simply could not keep up 
that's that's pretty much it you could not keep up in such conditions uh, in Europe was very different uh, processes that lead to socialistic mo socialistic movements it was very different uh, stuff that happened in Europe while in Russia um, these reforms this uh, it was really demanded by the people by the population by the civic population by the common citizens by the farmers that work on land even though it was 20 years before the revolution people already demanded that no one own uh, that no one have uh, ownership of the land right rights for ownership that no one should own the land only the government let, let, let the government have it and we will like work on this land that is simple as that because it's simply impossible it was impossible to keep up it was impossible to uh, feed yourself not to mention that you have to feed the big family that there was in in that conditions so for some reason no one mentioning this like little small little details like 44 million uh, starving population of Russia from uh, from 160 for example it, it's a it's a it's a little 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 detail that no one mentioned for some reason that the, you can't you can see it in American propaganda uh, revolution happens not because of someone paid Stalin or Lenin or that it was Jews who made it or that socialists want to overthrow the Tsar and take over the government and give people free shit like literally what what are you talking about I don't know what AOC uh, what Alexandria uh, Cortez is uh, uh, proposing for America it will not work anyway because in America first of all there is full-grown capitalism uh, the second it's uh, that people are brainwashed and conditioned to love capitalism in some shape or form and in the third place it simply will not work in in that direction in in that um, direction I guess where uh, the people who you call socialists right now or who call themselves socialists right now are want to leave the lead the country raise taxes lower taxes it's absolutely have no any common sense it really absolutely does not matter whether you will raise the taxes or will lower the taxes it absolutely have no meaning whatsoever the problem is the system of capitalism itself it's not adaptable it's rich uh, capitalism reach its limits and only seen and only way you can restart the capitalism it's either destroying the world economy as it is right now default like literally any country there is and in five or ten years you we will recover and maybe create some new form of capitalism maybe because it's not for sure I can uh, why why am I even do such a videos and such a streams because I hear obvious bullshit about my country it's not even about socialism pretty much I don't believe that socialism right now is 
possible. What I'm hearing is bullshit, well, like total bullshit. And I don't know why people are afraid of uh, socialistic movement. Like socialism means that you own the land that you live on. Therefore, what are you afraid of? Are you sure that are you sure that you are afraid of uh, socialism, or are you afraid of uh, that side of capitalism that you see in modern? people who call themselves socialism, like for example, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Bernie Sanders. They are, they are not in any for, shape or form are socialists. Even North Korea, I mentioned already this question, even North Korea, it's full-grown militar, militaristic tyranny, tyranny. Socialism is when people in charge of the country. Who told you that in North Korea people in charge? They're tyrannical military uh, bunch of people. What it have in common with socialism? I don't even understand. Cuba, even though Cuba was uh, how many 60 or 50 years under the huge American sanctions under the literal uh, uh, blockade economical blockade from the largest country in the region and yet Cuba is fine pretty much Cuba is fine until this day everything is all right and uh, i don't know what what else can you give us as an example ussr failed ussr wasn't socialistic country yes ussr tried to build a uh, socialistic economy of course like Bolsheviks was socialists or communist for that matter but people uh, talking about millions of starving people and bread lines when they talk about USSR but for some reason doesn't mention that uh, young USSR in 1920s just went out from the devastating war. During that period, uh, many countries want to invade and bite a piece of uh, Russia. Many occupations happened during that period. There was literally armies of uh, white officers who was against the current regime and want to and wanted to Tsar get back, reinstall the Tsar regime, reinstall the feudalism in, in reality. For some reason no one care about this, right? All they care about, oh, it was bread lines in, in USSR. Since the 1920s there was no bread lines. Yes, there was bread lines during the World War II. What, what a surprise, right? Countries devastated by the war was in lack of bread. Even though we, we, we literally have no problems, it, it wasn't a tragedy with uh, food except for uh, the Leningrad blockade. St. Petersburg right now. Other than St. Petersburg blockade there was no shortages of food because the chain of supply was literally uh, built that way that we was fine with uh, food supply. The next bread lines Become, uh, become reality in 19, 
89. Yes, I remember it. At least I remember it in eight, eight, 1989. There wasn't a really uh, bread lines, but there was food shortages for sure. Uh, the problem is, you see, that since Stalin died, uh, country become pretty much state-controlled capitalistic in all kind, in all senses, pretty much. Yes, it was state-controlled. Yes, it was socialistic slogans. Uh, the agenda was pushed and team that was behind Stalin still was in place, still was alive and therefore they tried to work as they worked previously because you simply cannot tell the generation that just went through the war that we will get back to conditions of uh, before the revolution. Again back in capitalism it will be the tragedy for the people who still remember what was before the revolution and there was people, still people who remember what was before the revolution. It was terrifying. It was conditions like worse than slavery because you, in words you were free but in reality you were slave, dead slave. Just, just as American right now. Not that hard, of course, in America, but I, I bet it will be soon. And you, you simply can't say, the, tell them that people that we, we will get back to capitalism. You understand what will happen. They will simply overthrow the government immediately, because there was people who uh, was at war who fight for socialistic and communistic ideology, ideas, they believe, uh, uh, not ideology, but ideas, I, I would say. Yes, they, they fought for socialistic ideas. Idea of socialism was uh, very comfortable for the genera that generation. And it worked out very well until people become more relaxed, uh, very wealthy. And in the same period during the 1970s where uh, USA lived through crisis, it was the best years of uh, Russian, the Soviet econ economy. It was literally the best years. In the same time that whole, all, all, absolutely all uh, Western world, capitalistic world, lived through crisis. I have no idea why they choose the path to create capitalism in Soviet Russia. Well, I have ideas that uh, some people put in play, some people are um, talk about, but in general I could not even understand that you was in charge of the greatest economy in the world for the moment, greatest economy, number one economy for the moment, and for some reason you choose to simply destroy it all and uh, let it all go. And with that, not only you lost all your wealth and your power, you also lose, lost the future for your children in such uh, conditions, I guess. What was in the heads of the Soviet, um, el Soviet elite for that, for that moment, I, I couldn't understand, really. Soviet economy was the number one economy in the world in 1970s because Western world lived through crisis and 
it was the best years for Soviet population in general. So when people are you know, spreading the lies about my country, I'm, I'm not very much like it. Like, I could say that I hate it because it's obvious lies. It's absolutely obvious lies. Yes, there was no consumption culture in Russia, yet everyone was provided with housing, food, uh, transportation, even if it wasn't a personal, tra personal car, personal automobile, uh, transportation, a vacation, uh, like how it called, RV, recreation, recreation in, in American. Uh, everyone was provided with this housing, food, uh, recreation, uh, transportation, healthcare, education. It was all. It all was provided by the government. And not because it's free stuff. Absolutely not. But in general, this mentality of American population that education should not be for free. You have to pay for it. Okay, no problem. Let's create uh, the system where rich people can pay for education and you can't. Like, for example, you had you have a bad uh, credit history. We won't give your children a loan for education. Stay dumb. Great. Stay on at your place. After all, uh, everything is already occupied by rich people. Rich people children. We don't need no more doctors. We don't need no more scientists. We don't need no more new pol politics. We don't need no more people in charge of police and army. Generals have their children, as in Russia people say. The general, uh, like, major told his, his son, like, study, son, study, and one day you can maybe become uh, a major too, like me. But daddy, why I can't become a general? You know, son, the general have his own son. Pretty much that that what you support in, in, in America right now. When you're talking, when you're saying that you don't need free education. Like I'm, I I always worked at 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 land, huh? right? I always worked uh, in farming. Eh, okay. I always worked in plumbing and. And my children will be working plumbing. I always cleaned shit, and my children will clean shit. Or I always cleaned pools, and my children will clean pools. It's fine. Who need this education? Fuck it, right? Who need this education? Let the rich people do it. Let the rich people pay for education for their children. They need it more, right? Exactly. Who need health care? Who need free health care? Like if you poor worker, you can be easily replaced. After all, you can always import enough uh, workers from Mexico. Die idiots. You useless for society. You like easy, easy to replace spare parts. Simple workers mean absolutely nothing for the system. And this idea that every life matter, or it's a democracy, or my vote me means something, or something along those lines, it's all pretty much a lie that you choose to believe in your voice won from the 60 million for in last elections 
for example, one in 60 million. Do you really think it, it really matters? Even, even, and even when the one candidate will win, well, other people could choose to decide that, nah, we don't, we don't need you, we, don't, we need other candidate. Why not? You're talking about that everything will be for free. What, what do you mean for free? You're paying the taxes. You're already paying the taxes. What are you paying taxes for then? Uh, I don't even understand. You, you're literally saying that uh, education could not be for free, but we're now paying for the welfare of uh, illegal immigrants, of useless eaters, for example, right? So, you literally saying that you cannot uh, change the system so you pay for your health care and education instead of paying for illegal immigrants and uh, useless eaters, for example, for example. So, you can change that. And you agree to have a system of education where you could not afford education, even for your, uh, even for yourself. Not mention that your children, for your children, you could not afford a healthcare. If something bad happens, you could not afford healthcare because meh, who needs healthcare while I'm young and and healthy, right? But when suddenly in my early 30s something bad happened, ah, wh what's happened? Why, why, why does my insurance doesn't cover this? Oh my God, what is happening? Who told you that this is for free? Who told you, uh, like for example, if AOC present, uh, giving you this idea that uh, there should be uh, taxes raised, fine raise the taxes for rich people after all they have billions of uh, of uh, dollars that simply sitting on the bank accounts they doesn't work for economy it's not that they simply worth billions of dollars there is literally billions of dollars in the bank accounts and you could not put them back into economy use that money tax them tax their asses off you don't need a billion dollars like literally you don't you could not spend it anywhere billion of dollars what you can spend it on Bugatti every day a new Bugatti every day right Meh. why not if you're an idiot of course well, why not? <sighs> to believe, to even think that for some reason in capitalistic society that heavily controlled by corporations, by rich people, that bribes become legal by the uh, by the law and it simply have the other name lobby lobbyist lobbyism so you can bribe anyone you like for like for nothing for money for, it's it's even not against the law the bribes become like oh my god i i even lost my lost words and you think that in such a condition, suddenly from nowhere came the uh, candidate that 70 previous years lived like egoistic shit, that uh, bankrupt, went back bankrupt many times, that uh, pleased only himself, that, I don't know, does many things that on the fringe of the law, let's say that 
and suddenly, suddenly, after 70 years, this man be became president and think, oh, I know, now I will help the working people. Why? I have only one question. Why? Why do you even believe in such idea? <laughs> people in 70s, so hard to change, so fucking hard to change that they could not even uh, um, so you could not teach them how to use properly a smartphone and you think that suddenly suddenly 70 year old year old egoistic narcissist that's still narcissist narcissistic Suddenly, he think about the worker population, the, the workers, working citizens. Why? I, 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 I'm talking about this and I'm like laughing. Really. It, it's so fucking idiotic idea. Why do you even think that? Why do you even believe in that? The man is artist. The man is a uh, actor. In reality, for God's sake, I I don't I don't understand how stupid American population should be that they believe in such fairy tales in general. It's not that I hate Trump or I'm against Trump politics or something along those lines or I'm socialistic commie. No! There is must be logic. You must you must understand there is must be logic behind everything. If two plus two equals four, great. But suddenly when it became two plus two seventy-two, hmm I have to think twice. Maybe something wrong here. Because like it doesn't really uh, equation simply doesn't work. It simply doesn't. For no apparent reason, from nowhere came the person that now given giving up the checks and that he earned as president. Like, come on, who needs this lousy hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars? Let's give those to working people working people I'm I care about working people nothing changed in, the, in Trump's behavior whether I like him or not it, it it's absolutely irrelevant in in this equation he is not my president I I don't have uh, like uh, some feelings for him I really doesn't matter but as Looking from the side, I see that nothing, absolutely nothing, even even I can tell you this, Trump that um, talked about his, the probability of him going to president, is was more, more open, more uh, like likable I guess person that then this Trump old wig uh, orange let's let's face it he's orange uh, orange fat with a beautiful wife like she was him of course because of the love for for God's sake only because of the love of course yes. So, uh, I see that Trump not changed, not changed in him. The words that the, he's saying, it's absolute blank, it's like thin air, absolute. There is nothing behind it. He don't know what he is talking about. The most of his words is like, I like it, I don't like it, this good, this bad, 
we should change it. Maybe, maybe not. Just try to listen closer to him. And once again, it doesn't matter whether I like him or not. He is a person for me is like... Meh, just another guy. Even the fact that he is a billionaire, if he is a billionaire, I'm not very sure about it. I... There is very different sources who talk uh, about his wealth, whether he rich right now or broke as fuck. But when you became the president, when uh, there is very important people standing behind you, behind your back, who supports you right now, and you make connections, you can um, affect many many policies by the simple uh, sign on the paper. You make a great connections. You don't need millions of dollars as salary for the presidency. You're already a wealthy man if you have connections like Trump has. Uh, but even to think about this concept that, that 70 years... Come on, guys, he's 70 years old. Just look at your parents. Look at your parents. How easy for them to change their mind. Look, I'm talking with 40, 50 year old people right now. I can't make them change their mind about socialism because uh, first of all you have to, for, for God's sake, understand there, there is no socialism. Socialistic system, it's a uh, system of economy for in the first place it's a system of economy it's a system of ownership pretty much where do you see is uh, that people own the land people own everything pretty much every country in the world either it's absolute 100 percent government own everything or it's private property There is no socialistic system of economy right now. And, and people like in, in 30s and 40s and 50s could not change their mind, their world view. Socialism is bad because it's fail, because it's bad, red man bad, red man bad. And pretty much this is like mantra for modern day Republicans. They are afraid of Something that doesn't even happen. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid if you think about it. It's so good to be in uh, endless debt, right? So good to be to owe money uh, to somebody all your life literally all your life like it really doesn't matter if you uh, even if you pensioner right you're still using the credit cards you're still using the loans to buy a, a new car or buy something for your house until the last day of your life you owe money to somebody <laughs> what is this is this some kind of I don't know uh, good system of life or something along those lines I don't think so I seen better system and yet uh, these people no 30 40 50 years old they could not simply couldn't change their world view uh, how they uh, thinking about themselves in the first place. I'm American, I'm, I'm a number one, I'm, I'm a best because I'm American and something along those lines. And you think that Trump, that narcissistic egoist, absolutely 100% <laughs> if you ask the specialist 
who about the mental health who I, I no psychic no no psychic it, it's uh, uh, another uh, psychiatrist if you ask the specialist about what you see in Trump he will tell you it's narcissistic egoist and suddenly in seven being 70 years old when people so freaking hard to change themselves being a narcissistic egoist suddenly here it is he thinks about the common people <laughs> it even sounds ridiculous I don't know uh, probably the man from some TV show was uh, uh, right that uh, like like America is number one by the number of people who believe in God angels and something along those lines ah, and the fairy tales number one in comics book sales number one in I don't know obesity number one in some other stupid stuff opioid uh, problem for example you really believe in angels? Believe it, you really live in this biblical paradigm that Jesus will came from the sky and will save us all. And here it is. I'm a Jesus, for God's sake, look at me. I'm, I'm a Jesus and my name is Trump. I'm going to save you because I said so. <laughs> it even sounds ridiculous. There must be something behind the words. You must understand. The stock market uh, ratings is doesn't matter in these conditions, in such a situations. I see the strikes. I see I see working workers strikes, and they do not believe in Trump. It's not liberal people. I wouldn't say that they pro Hillary or pro Trump. It doesn't matter. But the Trump is current sitting president, and therefore he must do something about it. And yet people do not believe him because worker. The situation is like Russia before the socialistic revolution. Uh, gap between the rich and the poor growing with every day conditions of uh, workers people work working people is very hard and become worse with every day more and more homeless more and more jobless people more people without job more and more people uh, in uh, with lousy salaries or even if he uh, the man got salary that enough for living still he can, couldn't make it for some reason because he overly believed in some promises by the government or by the president and took the loan for the house that he, he couldn't afford and his salary doesn't rise and with inflation it's even uh, get less so you must understand that there should be something that saying that the jobs are back yes the trump here not trump but trump team trump team team behind the trump because trump it's not like a, a show window i don't know how to say it i don't know this word in english and Trump is for you like showman, uh, like he playing his role, his role to play the president of the United States. Awesome, awesome role. Every actor are like Re Reagan get this this job once, and now Trump get this job. But the, he their goal is to bring back uh, the jobs in the United States. But it's not for benefit of 
American population. It's because American population no more able to consume. There is some simply not enough consumption and it's bad for economy in general. Be because simple workers could not consume and yet billions of dollars sitting on the bank accounts of billionaires and millionaires and they are sitting there. They're not working for economy. They should work for economy and they don't. Those money doesn't work. Billions of dollars accumul uh, accumulated in stocks, in derivatives, in some bad, bad loans, bad money, etc. That will never be returned for the government which they loaned from in the first place. The simple is in 2000, in 2008, they built out the bank, a couple of banks. They do not bail out the population and it will never happen. Why can't you uh, took the money from the rich and literally pay, them, pay the student debt? It will give a new opportunity for the young generation, for the generation who's still struggling to pay out the debt. Why not? What is wrong with that? I don't understand. <sighs> well, thank you.